what's up merry christmas happy hanukkah happy kwanzaa welcome to another episode of sonic cd i don't want to say happy happy holidays because happy holidays is just really awkward to say it just doesn't really sound right i'd rather ask someone what they celebrate before i wish them a happy holiday and i just said that which defeats the whole purpose of me ranting about it the big topic i have today is Sonic. I want to talk about Sonic because, you know, we're let's playing a Sonic game and I kind of want to talk about Sonic and how it's been going for the past couple years. The first time I've heard about a bad Sonic game is Sonic 06. That was the first one I heard was awful. Though there are bad Sonic games before that, like Sonic R and Sonic R and Sonic R. I feel like Sega is just rushing these games out. You could say they're going Sonic Speed with the development of these games. But, um, tsh. We heard about Sonic Forces at the beginning of this year. And it came out last month? Yeah, last month. And it wasn't really that great. It felt like Generations Light. And I feel like if it had just like a year more of development, it could have been great. Look at Sonic Mania. It had a lot of time to develop, and it's a pretty good game. To be honest, Sega just has to get their act together. Similar to Bubsy, I think that Sonic just doesn't transfer to 3D very well. Mario and Zelda had some great transitions that still hold up today, but Sonic just really doesn't hold up. I feel like if Sega just put all their assets and time and money into side-scrolling Sonic games, it'd benefit them a lot. Because clearly Sonic Mania did make them a lot of money, and it was a great game to boot. I rave about Sonic CD and say that it was my childhood Sonic game, but it wasn't the first Sonic game I ever played. Sonic Classic Collection on the DS was my first Sonic game. It came with all the original versions of the Genesis games, not including Sonic CD, but Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, and Sonic and Knuckles. It's really, really good. The ports are really well made. It's certainly up there with the Pokemon games as one of my favorite DS games, so if you ever get the chance to play it, definitely get it. It's really fun. I'm pretty sure it's a common game. I'm not sure if it's rare or not. I'll have to look that up after this video, and I'll probably get back to you in the next one. But it's such a good game. I just can't recommend it enough. Parlo has started posting videos on his channel, so please go check them out. They're very funny. And if you're very interested in me, you should check them out, because one, I comment on them, and two, I'm in two of the videos. I don't know why you'd want to go watch them with me in it, but, you know, if that's what floats your boat, you can do it. And I'll say, one of them has a hand reveal in it. It was basically a chicken nugget video. I was, like, putting my hand through chicken nuggets, and you could see my hand in it. So, yeah, it's my hand. Also, um, I battle Parlo in Pokemon Showdown. And I lose, because I used Brave Bird and I had Recoil. But, I just spoiled it. Uh-oh. <laughs> But, yeah, go show him some support. He's just starting out. And also, Omega made a new video. Very funny video. So, go check that out, too. He's got, like, 40 views on it, which are probably all him, but whatever. I mean, I was going to save this for a Varlo show episode in 2018, but by then, the news is going to be pretty old. So, I'm not sure if it will definitely be a video, but I'll just talk about it now. There's a lot of rumors going around about Pokemon on the Switch. Which is that it's going to be running on Unreal Engine 4, which is beautiful. Unreal Engine 4 is beautiful. And the Switch is definitely capable of handling that. So I'm not worried on that front. But I'm very, very interested on where this Pokemon game is going. There's also been reports that it's going to innovate as much as Breath of the Wild did for the Zelda series. Which, I've been playing Pokemon for a long time, so it's always good to see change. And Sun and Moon kind of already started that. So, you know... If we're going to reboot the franchise, I'm in. I'm completely in. If it means better games, I'm all in. Again, I'm not really sure if this will make its own video, but my hopes for 2018. The reason I'm not sure is because I don't really have that many hopes for games in 2018. But here they are, I have four of them. Mario Maker on the Switch, Animal Crossing on the Switch, Smash on the Switch, and Pokemon on the Switch. That's all I want. All I want. Also, the Mega Man games on the Switch, like Mega Man Legacy Collection 1 plus 2, the Mega Man X Collection, and Mega Man 11, but 
Those are all real. I mean, Pokemon Switch is real too, but Animal Crossing, Mario Maker, and Smash, they're all theoretical. Like, we don't even know if they exist or not. We don't know if they're coming. So that's why I'm predicting them. If you find me, it's not really predicting. Speaking of Mega Man 11, I'm threatening Capcom. If you don't put Proto Man in Mega Man 11, we're gonna have a serious problem. Capiche? I'm really hoping that 2018 is a happy and healthy year for the channel. I've got a lot of ideas for what I'm going to do in 2018. Most importantly, what Let's Play I'll be doing after Sonic CD, which is, it's going to be different. Um, I mean, it'll be really different. It'll be like nothing you've ever seen before. So, get excited, I guess. We're not even halfway through Sonic CD yet, so we're doing three levels a week. So, I mean, it'll be a while, probably a couple weeks, but, you know, it'll come soon, sooner or later. So, you know, just get hype, but don't, like, hype too much, because it's going to be a while's off. Also, I have a bunch of Barlow show ideas planned that I've been meaning to do for the past couple weeks, but there's just so much news and stuff, and then I find a better idea, and I'm like, that's an episode, we're doing that, put that one to the side. So all the ones I've put to the side, I have to, I've built them all up, and... Now I have a giant collection of rejected ideas that I want to finish in 2018. I'm really proud of where the Varlo shows went since episode 1, but it's all pretty much the same. And I've set like this formula and convention for myself, and I feel like 2018 is going to be the year to break all conventions and destroy all the tradition. You can already see this with Mopio Madness and Minecraft Madness. I really want the videos to be different and special. Mopio Madness and Minecraft Madness were just such beasts to create, and I'm really happy with how they came out, because they were just so different. Because usually the Barlow Show is an informative, education show, but I love throwing in a special video every now and then. Originally, part 3, the final part, was supposed to be Mario Madness, but I'm thinking a different idea. Merry Madness where I play Christmas games, but I think I might still do Mario Madness, because it's just easier, because I have a lot of jokes planned for that, but I wanted it to be a good video to conclude the trilogy. A little off topic, but I was just talking about this with Parlo. You know those, like, gummy candies that have, like, that white sugar around them? Not Sour Patch. They look like Sour Patch, but, like, they look like gumdrops, too. Those things are terrible. <laughs> like, they also come in, like, spearmint, you can get them at the store, like, they're like little leaves and spearmints. They're so terrible. They taste awful. And they're stale. They taste stale, too. I've pretty much ran out of topics, so that brings me to my final topic. I'll be shortening Sonic CD Let's Plays a little bit. Thus, speeding up the endings. So, I ran out of things to talk about, so I'm going to speed it up. So, be kind of one of don't get to be awesome, and stay funky, my boys. Peace off.
ready for the next battle.